Hi guys, welcome to Nati TV. This is your host Ajay Gupta and today I'm holding out the Zenfone 2 Deluxe handset. I've been using this phone since a while now. Let's see how it performed. So guys, USB of Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe is its back plate. Uh, you can see the surface is uneven, it's kind of a crystallized structure with a light amount of shine on it. Uh, it's plastic though but feels really premium and really classy in your hand. You can see the device is uh, sturdy, it's sleek. Uh, it, front is like Zenfone 2, you don't have backlit buttons at the bottom but they are good enough once you have a hand on them. Uh, the UI is really nice as a Zen UI, I have been appreciating it since uh, it made its debut last year and it's getting better with every form. Uh, the phone supports OTG apps are also movable to SD. Uh, I have a, I ran into benchmark on the phone and uh, with quad core Intel processor 4 GB of RAM you can ski marvelous 48413 score so as a result the phone is ranked just below Samsung Galaxy Note 4 it is above other devices in the rank list and if we talk about the info of the device then you can see full HD 5.5 inch display 12.6 uh, megapixel camera 397 MB of RAM system storage 54 GB Intel Atom CPU Z3580 64 bit CPU Power VR Rogue G6 430 is the GPU and uh, display pixel density is 480 dpi. Let me test the multi touch. So it is a 10 point multi touch on Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe, which is more than enough for most of your games and other stuff. As far as sensors are concerned, the phone supports direction sensor, gravitation sensor, acceleration, light, e compass, proximity, gy gyro linear acceleration rotation vector so these are all the sensors you need so guys speciality of 4 gb of ram and this kind of score is that almost all of your games apps that exist in the play store will run smoothly uh, if you run heavy games like modern combat 5 future fight they will run easily and even up to four heavy games modern combat 5 asphalt 8 airborne nova 3 all these will run without closing in the background that's the magic of the 4 gb of ram so free ram is 2.4 gb there are some apps apart from stock android apps running on the system currently used amount of ram is 1.2 gb apps are movable to ac and phone also support otg moving on to the storage this is the 64 gb variant and uh, the available space is 52.57 gb uh, in the first boot, I told you that around 54 GB is available to the user and around 10 GB is reserved for the system. Then you have gesture features also included in the phone, touch gesture, motion gesture and one hand mode. So you just double tap to turn on the screen, it turns on and if you double tap on the home screen, it will go off. So that is a really nice feature. Moving on to the camera guys, I have a 13 megapixel uh, dual tone camera at the back and a 5 megapixel front facing camera so I click a lot of images using the phone and the results have been super impressive. You can see this close up is really fantastic of this earthen pot and again this leaf has come out pretty well. See the details and the uh, natural colors in which they appear. This is the low light imaging, there, there was a lot of darkness in the kitchen and the image has again this again this image uh, without this uh, low light mode and with the low light mode on you can see the exact difference of what I am talking about. Uh, the earlier Zenfone 2 had this problem that the image went lot yellowish when the flash was on but this has been rectified in this phone and I like it. You can see uh, the image is not that yellowish with flash on with flash off it is fine again. So I'm really happy with the rear camera it's super awesome. Uh, the same cannot be said exactly about the front facing camera. It is a nice front facing camera but not the best of the lot. Although it will give you good amount of selfies but I really love the rear camera on this phone guys. So the back plate is removable. It is not a thin back plate because of this crystallized design. It's really wonderful, isn't it? 
and the battery is non removable 3000 milliamp hour battery it gives one day of battery juice uh, the phone tends to heat up on heavy usage we played games heavy games and the phone heated up in 15 minutes of usage you can put in two sim cards of which one has to be a 2g sim other can be a 2g 3g or a 4g sim there is slot for micro sd card as well so overall a pretty decent battery asus has provided uh, it is a nice move to put in a 3000 milliamp hour battery for such a power hungry device so guys did you like the phone uh, actually i like it the display is super awesome got corning gorilla glass protection it's really nice to touch uh, the device because of its back to line structure it feels really premium uh, it's great to show off uh, the ram it's 4 gb is ample ram it can run any game you throw at this phone there are slight heating issues but those are not major and can be overlooked so Zenfone 2 Deluxe is the phone you are going to opt for if you want flagship features really super awesome feature at a slightly lesser price thanks for watching the video guys if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button over here i'll see you next time have a great day